Hey guys, welcome back to Camille's Corner. So, I came out of hibernation to talk about this crazy controversy that has a lot of white people in their feelings right now. So, Disney chose a black actress to play Ariel in their live-action remake of The Little Mermaid, and a lot of white people are losing their minds over it. I am so sorry to my world, this is not what we want. <laughs> So if y'all don't know, Disney announced that Halle Bailey is going to play Ariel. And Halle Bailey is a 19-year-old singer. She's part of this singing duo with her sister, Chloe. And y'all, those girls have got some pipes, okay? They can really sing. They started on YouTube doing covers and stuff. And they were so good, they got recognized by Beyonce. And Beyonce actually signed them to her label. Like, you can't get any more lucky than that. Having Beyonce, of all people, see you on YouTube and give you a record deal. So, you know these girls are talented. And they're really pretty too. And their voices are so unique, y'all. I don't know how to explain it. But it's like, they have these really trembly, soulful kind of voices. And it's unlike any other singer out right now. So when I heard that Halle was going to play Ariel, y'all, my first thought was, okay, her voice is perfect for that. But a lot of people are upset because she's black and she has dreadlocks and Ariel is traditionally a white character with long flowing red hair. And I mean, to be fair, y'all, The Little Mermaid is based on a book that was written by a Danish author named Hans Christian Andersen. And in the book, this is how he describes Ariel. He says, her skin was as clear and delicate as a rose petal, her eyes as blue as the deepest sea. So, I mean, clearly the author envisioned her to be a Caucasian character. Nobody's disputing that. So now a lot of white people are pissed off because I guess they feel like Disney is straying too far away from the author's vision and they feel like Halle stole a role that should have gone to a white actress. Like I saw people suggesting Ariana Grande and I mean I could get behind that because Ariana Grande does have that traditional Little Mermaid look and she can sing. So if they had selected her, I would not have had a problem with that at all. And... I also saw some people suggesting Bad Baby. People are saying that she looks more like The Little Mermaid than Hallie. And I mean, she kind of does, but can she sing and can she act? I mean, I know she can act a fool, but that's a completely different kind of acting, so I can't even take this suggestion seriously. Like, how upset are you at a black girl playing Ariel that you prefer the cashmere side girl? <laughs> Y'all, seriously, I can't. I cannot. Okay? So... People went on Twitter and they started this hashtag saying, not my Ariel. And it's basically to protest Halle being chosen for the role. Check out what people were saying. Let me tell y'all what I think about all of this shit, okay? I just have four words for anybody who has a problem with a black girl playing Ariel. Shut the hell up. Okay, just shut the hell up and let Hallie make her movie in peace because I'm sure she's gonna be great in it and the soundtrack is gonna be lit, y'all, okay? I can hear it in my head already. <laughs> and this might probably be the best version of The Little Mermaid that we've ever seen. I see a lot of people saying that the movie is going to flop because white people are not going to support it. Well, y'all, if you're that pressed about a movie, about a fictional character that you don't want to go see it, fine, you do you. That's just more space in the theater for the rest of us, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all, but the movie is not going to flop just because there's a black actress playing Ariel, okay? I think this, mo this movie is going to be a huge success because black people are going to flock to see it. And I think we saw that with Black Panther, okay? So th I think Black Panther's success showed just how much black people will show up and support something that gives us actual representation for a change because that's something we rarely ever get. So a lot of black people who probably never even saw a Disney movie in their life, they will go to see this. 
I know I'm going to take my black ass to see it and I don't ever go nowhere, y'all, okay? So I'm taking my black ass friends to see it. I'm taking my black ass kids to see it. I'm taking my black ass nieces and nephews to see it. Y'all, I'm taking my whole black ass family to see this movie because, like I said, it's very rare when we get this kind of representation in Disney movies. I think the only time we've seen a black Disney princess, y'all correct me if I'm wrong, is Princess Tiana in The Princess and the Frog. And actually, back in 1997, there was a Cinderella movie where Brandy played Cinderella and Whitney Houston played the fairy godmother. And by the way, y'all, that was the best Cinderella movie of all time. Of all time. Of all time. And if y'all remember, people were upset back then too. People didn't like it that a black girl with braids in her hair was going to play a role that they felt was written for a white actress. But the movie was made and like I said, it was the best Cinderella movie ever. Like no other remake has ever come close in my book. Like I'm sure if you ask anybody about the Cinderella movie, it'll probably be that one that they remember the most. And that's saying a lot because there has literally been like a dozen Cinderella movies over the years. There's been Cinderella inspired movies. There's been a bunch of remakes, but none have been as memorable as the one with Brandy and Whitney. It was the Cinderella movie and it's a classic. People are still watching that version to this day. That's black girl magic, y'all, okay? So anyway, people feel like Halle playing Ariel is an issue because she's black and she has dreadlocks and she doesn't fit the image. Well, boohoo, cry me a river because white people have been playing roles that were designed for black people or for people of other races for a really long time. Y'all don't act like you don't know whitewashing has been a major problem in Hollywood movies for decades. So let me just give a few examples, okay? We had Johnny Depp, who is a whole ass white man, playing Tonto in The Lone Ranger. And that's a role designed for a Native American person. And you know, all the white people who are protesting against Halle now, they probably had nothing to say about that. And y'all, a white man played the Prince of Persia. Like, the movie title is literally the Prince of Persia. You would think they would cast someone of a Persian background, but no, they cast a whole ass white man. This ain't the Prince of Caucasia, it's the Prince of Persia. And all those white folk complaining about Halle, they probably said nothing about that too. But you know what's the biggest insult, y'all? In every biblical movie that has ever been made, we've had white men playing Jesus or Noah or Moses. And these are characters who are literally from the Middle East, but they're being portrayed by white actors. So where's the not my Jesus hashtag? And you know what's worse is that some of these movies are based on real people and real historical events. So that's why it's important to have real representation of what they actually looked like. But The Little Mermaid is a fictional story. It's a made up story with a made up character. And the skin color, it changes nothing about the story. Okay, the story is about a mermaid who falls in love with a human. So she could be yellow, she could be purple, she could be freaking polka dot and it would not change anything in the story. Her skin color or her race is not essential to the story at all. And I mean y'all, this is a fucking mermaid in the sea. It's a fucking fish. And people are pressed about her race? Give me a break, okay? And let's also talk about the fact that there's like a dozen white Disney princesses, y'all. Disney has made like three decades of movies like this before we got a black princess with Tiana. So one movie with a black actress isn't gonna ruin your perfect world, okay? But what it will do is it will give black girls a bit of confidence. It will give them a bit of joy to see themselves represented like that. Y'all, casting Halle as Ariel is literally doing no harm to any white people, but it's bringing so much positive energy for black people. So the white people who are mad about this, just do like Elsa and let it go. <laughs> let us have things. Just let black people have things. We gave y'all Jesus, okay? So let us borrow the Little Mermaid for fuck's sake. We'll give her back eventually. I'm sure there will be a lot more Little Mermaid movies made with white actresses with red hair and blue eyes and whatever. But I can guarantee you all this it will not be as memorable as this version is going to be. 
And I feel like this version is gonna be epic, just like Brandy's version of Cinderella. Because I feel like Hallie's beautiful and she has a voice to match. And people should just give her a chance, okay? I could only imagine how that girl is feeling right now, seeing all the hate that's being spewed at her. And, y'all, like I said, this isn't a historical movie based on someone's real life. So it's not misrepresenting any actual events. It's fiction and it can be adapted. So, like I said, I'm looking forward to this movie. And I know Hallie's gonna do a great job. I can already picture how she's gonna look as a mermaid. People have been doing like artwork and stuff and all of it is really amazing. So I'm looking forward to how that's gonna turn out. But let me know what y'all think. Do y'all feel like Hallie isn't suitable to play the Little Mermaid? And who do you think should have gotten the role? Let me know in the comments. Bye guys and thanks for watching.